Hi guys, welcome back to Impact Media TV. According to widely circulated mainstream media reports, families fear there is an alleged serial killer on the loose in Los Angeles, and a warning is being issued to black women in the area. The killer is allegedly preying on beautiful African-American women. Two models have been found in their downtown luxury apartments just three miles apart, and authorities are working to establish whether there is a connection due to extremely similar surrounding circumstances. Investigators are currently examining whether there is a link between the two cases, as both women were discovered alone in their apartments. The circulation of reports began following the discoveries of the women, which occurred just a week apart and under eerily similar circumstances. In both cases, it has been reported that the victims had arranged to meet a man for a date. Days later, they were found in their apartments. The first victim, Melissa Mooney, was a 31-year-old model and real estate agent. Her body was found inside her upscale apartment. Mooney had recently moved into this residence, which was located in Beverly Hills and managed by the Nest Seekers Agency. The cause of her demise remains undisclosed. Concerns initially arose within Mooney's family when their iPhone text messages with her transitioned from blue to green, indicating a change in Wi-Fi and data services. Worried relatives requested a welfare check after not hearing from Mooney for an entire week. She was discovered during this welfare check. It has also been reported that she had gone on a date shortly before her disappearance. Mooney's family stresses their close relationship with her, expressing that it was highly uncharacteristic of her not to return calls. Melise is the sister of popular Guyanese pop star Shordan Pauline. As a result of these suspicious circumstances, a homicide investigation has been initiated. The second victim, Nicole Coates, also a model, was 32 years old. She had informed her friends about her planned date on September 8, but never contacted them again. Two days later, when her family checked on her, she was found deceased in her luxurious apartment. According to Nicole's mother, her face exhibited severe bruising, suggesting a struggle with her attacker, and they also say that one of her legs was raised in the air. She was found in the apartment by her father and other relatives after the family became concerned. Nicole's case is not currently being investigated as a homicide despite her family's suspicions and the airy similarities between each case. However, the investigation remains ongoing. Her family strongly suspects foul play and notes the striking similarities between both cases. Impact Media DV, please be safe out here. Such a tragic situation. Farts and prayers go out to both families of these two women. Take care all.